So this is a sea view facing cottage. We actually tried to get this from the starting days itself. Puneet ji ka photo. Fan hai? Oh, okay. Puneet ji ka fan. Hesro hai na ma? Lakshmi. Lakshmi. How much fish do you want? Tuna, snapper, tomfree, tomfree. So we got fenny and uh, pot wine. Because anyways they are going to catch us if we carry liquor from here, whatever it is, even if it is fenny or um, any beer, yeah. So if you guys are surprised about our Goa visit, we are also equally surprised because we didn't plan this visit at all. Because of Diwali, we got this long vacation and we were like, okay, where to go? Initially, we thought we'll be in Bangalore itself to some resort we will go and all. But then we thought, okay, there are four days. Why not to Goa? It was a sudden plan and both of us were like 100% agreed. Just like that it came to our mind because if you guys are watching our video from long time you will already know how much we are connected to Goa. This year our new year also started in Goa and uh, how can we miss going to Goa once again before ending this year. That's when we thought we will come to Goa for sure and now we are super happy. Wish you all a very happy Diwali. I know by the time this video will be published it will be belated but still Diwali wishes from our end. And this time it's a two days road trip, one from Bangalore to Goa, the other one from Goa to Bangalore. So two full days will be on the road and we will get two days here in South Goa. But this time no much beach hopping and all. This time it is a peaceful vacation, a serene vacation we wanted to have. So we took a hotel, a resort, a cottage. It is actually a cottage uh, near to the beach, very near to the beach walkable distance from the cottage to the beach so we took a stay in Agonda beach the cottage name is Agonda paradise we reached yesterday late night around 9 o'clock and then we went to the beach had some amazing dinner there we had some prawns roast also we had naan and chicken vindaloo the Goan special delicacy Looking at the sea and having dinner after a very long time, maybe after some 11 months. So super happy we were and a lot of people were enjoying there and Diwali crackers were happening and uh, they had some Ravana, uh, some celebrations. I'm not sure exactly what they were doing because they were playing drums and all. They were dancing with Ravana, that uh, big idol kind of thing. So altogether it was super amazing yesterday night even though we came we reached late we had a great time near Agonda beach. So today we had our breakfast just now. Let's see what we had for breakfast. Right now looking at the Palolam beach we are having some breakfast. We ordered pancake, bread butter toast, some omelette and also puri bhaji. It is actually a kind of brunch because uh, we woke up late because it's kind of a peaceful vacation we thought we will sleep properly take enough rest and then come for brunch outside later so it's already 11 30 just like that ordering food food and eating it's like a very lazy vacation but it's super hot without goggles can't even look at the sea it's that hot so whoever has watched my videos before you'll be knowing how much i love braiding so whenever I'm in Goa or Gokarna anywhere, I'll definitely do braiding. Even in Thailand, we did. Happy Diwali. Yeah? Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. <laughs> After having a great breakfast from the shack facing the Palolam beach, we are actually on the streets of Palolam. And let's see if there is something to shop. I know all of you like when I do a lot of shopping. You all are shopping enthusiasts. I'm sure about that. So today, let's go see for some neck piece or some jewelries or something we can see a lot of crowd in south itself so definitely north goa will be crowded like hell and that is what we actually wanted to avoid here also you can find a lot of foreigners having great time in goa now let's see for the street shopping 
So here you can find a lot of uh, fridge magnets, which we have a lot in our fridge <laughs> all together now, because we keep visiting Goa every time, at least once in a year or more than that for sure. This is the instrumental shop, a lot of instruments. And uh, you can find a lot of nice shirts with uh, crazy designs, the beach wear, the beach designs, nice, nice sculptures, nice, nice artworks, nice paintings, all these you can find here. And there are a lot of uh, cafes also here on the streets. So either you can uh, stay in Palolam or you can even choose for Agonda. We usually prefer Agonda because it won't be as crowded as Palolam when compared to all the south beaches. Usually Kolva and Palolam will be crowded and Agonda is one of the peaceful, pure, nature friendly, cute, small beach. Yeah, and a lot of foreigners usually prefer to stay in uh, Agonda mainly, maybe because it is not that crowded. Even it is uh, famous for yoga, meditation, etc. So the dream catchers, beautiful, cute, small, small dream catchers as well as big dream catchers. Today, this time we came by car, so it's easy to get things back to Bangalore. But uh, whenever we come by flight or bike, it's really difficult and we get a lot of, we do a lot of shopping, so it's very difficult to carry them back to Bangalore. But this time we came with a car, so we can, I think we can get so many things from here. See, these shirts are nice, this t-shirt is good. Yeah, Sham already has the same one, same pattern but different color. This shirt is also nice. We will anyways buy these. The shorts are good. Ladies, gents. So, if you do not want to spend a lot of time in beach when it is super hot, one good thing you can do in Goa is definitely shopping. Nice, trendy dresses you can find. I wanted some earrings. I always like this feather style earrings. It looks really trendy when we wear. So we are getting the sandals from this lovely shop and the lovely shop owner. <laughs> What's your name? Praveen. You are from Goa only? No, I am from Gujarat. Gujarat? Okay. I have a lot of Gujarati yes, friends. I start the 2004 business. Okay, okay. My close friend Abhinandan Tejani is from Gujarat. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> MS Poonam is it? Yeah. MS Poonam bags and shoes. It's very close to the Palolam entrance. It's the corner shop. Corner shop, yeah. And uh, this is one Jaipuri hand block print shop. So this we had seen while in Jaipur. And the same Jaipuri block print shirt is what Sham is wearing right now. So this we got from Jaipur only. So we are going to explore the next food now, next cafe. This time what we are going to do is only shopping and food exploring. Sometimes we will go spend some limited time in the beach. Such a nice welcome. They gave me this flower for Diwali, Diwali special flower. So today is Diwali. Yeah. Today, tomorrow. Okay. Today, today. Today is Diwali. So Let's celebrate Diwali. So dears, we ordered this masala fish fry. So this is how it looks like. Mm. Mm. Super, delicious. So now we are leaving from this restaurant and we got a new friend here. His name is Joy. Such an Hi. interesting character. So we will be in touch for sure. So that was a great time well spent in the cafe. We didn't order much only the fish fry but that was enough for us because we had so much of breakfast, seeing brunch and all. Now we are again walking through the streets of Palolam and uh, last time also we had come to the same street and we had done a lot of shopping and we still remember the same shops. I am sure the owner will also be remembering us. So but this time we will go to some other place. And we are planning to shop dress from Agonda because uh, I feel uh, near Agonda you can find a lot of trendy collections. I am not degrading Palolam area but Palolam also you can find a lot of trendy things. 
but uh, because we are staying near to Agonda, we thought this time we'll shop from Agonda. Here goes cute, cute hats, wallets, nice shorts, some bralettes. This is beautiful, and some trendy tops. See, lot of dress are there. So Sham is busy shopping here and there. Yeah, something and all he has got now. So after some chilling time in Palolam, we are going back to Agonda. Let's go there and see what we can do there. So we got ready from Agonda Beach, our cottage. Now we are walking through the streets of Agonda. It's actually a very peaceful place. That's where most of the people come here, including us. So we'll just walk around. And you can feel that village uh, atmosphere, that village vibes, and also it's a happening place as well. So both you can get in Agonda. No doubt, if you are in Goa, you can also get good Ayurvedic massages also done. We came to this Madhu Madhu bar and restaurant. Madhu means what you know, I guess. So let's start with something Madhu. Have some Madhu. Yeah, let's have some madhu. <laughs> Looking at my favorite beach and having some food. And some madhu. And some madhu, it seems. <laughs> so we ordered butter naan, then normal roti, and uh, Goan special chicken sakuti. This is very famous here. Chicken sakuti is good with a lot of masala. We are just like that walking through the streets after the food and on the way we found this meditation center. As I said this place is very much famous for yoga and all. And finally we made it to Agonda beach. We were just walking over the street and thought okay why don't we step onto the beach. See it's the right time. Not that sunny it's 5 o'clock and can also see the sun set just walking over the seashore it's really fun we love that and have been doing it since a long time whenever we come here we just like that walk over the seashore after some time we might step onto the water but not right away because our cottage it's here only so near to the cottage if you step out then it's easy for changing clothes and all so after some time we'll come again it will be like a private beach for us that's why we always choose these kind of cottages which is very near to the sea <laughs> So let's go to the shop and see what we have there. Yeah, this looks nice. Nice, no? So got these two for 550. The bikini is good actually. There are so many funky funky bikinis. And uh, this is nice. This is good for me now, right now. Ah, it's very hot. After going to the beach and once we came back, I'm sweating like hell. Is it a short size? Yes, one size. One size. This is good. Okay. Now, I did some shopping. It's time for Sham to look for some shirts. Some shorts. Yeah, this is good. So, whenever you shop from Goa, make sure you take a bigger size. Sometimes, now after wash, it will shrink. There are some sleeveless nice t-shirts. First one was 400. How much is it? 800. 800. 
Now it's time to look for some shirts again. So some cool shirts, some nice t-shirts. For Appu, our nephew also we are planning to get one shirt or t-shirt. Okay. Size? Size okay. Looks nice. Yeah. So it's only 250. Nice collections. All these also comes for 250 rupees. So all these embroidery work is done by this creative artist. So if you come here, they'll do it for you whichever design you need. So it comes in different range from 750,000 etc. But looks really trendy. What's your name? Abuzar Ahmed. What's your name? 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 A3 Beach. A3 Beach Resort, opposite to that. Done with our candlelight dinner, we had pomme fried masala fry and ice cream, fruit salad. So, it's time to sleep. We will meet you soon tomorrow. Good morning, dears. Another great day from South Goa, Agonda Beach. Today, we are shifting to another cottage. Come, let's see what is special there. And we shifted to the new cottage. Look at the view from here. The room tour to our new room, new cottage. It is similar to the previous room, but uh, a premium look. The washroom is also good. So this is a sea view facing cottage. We actually tried to get this from the starting days itself but uh, it was like crowded you know because of the long vacation people had already booked all the good cottages so the last one whatever was left we booked it for two days and now this is the last day and we are here in the sea facing cottage. This is the speciality of Agonda Beach. You can't see a lot of crowd, but then people are there, they are playing, having fun, swimming in the sea. So from morning itself, people have started coming here and walking towards the beach. So this is our dinner spot. So in the evening, they'll start arranging the chairs and all with a candlelight dinner. So that's where we usually have our dinner from. So people are getting tanned. They are enjoying the vitamin D. <laughs> the beautiful sun. Now we'll go out. Dears, so we came to today's first spot, which is one of our favorite. That is German bakery, very famous in Palolem. So we ordered this chocolate bracket and uh, cinnamon roll. Chocolate bracket, how is it? <laughs> so Sham became a very good food vlogger. So next to cinnamon roll. Yeah, thumbs up for that. So he liked the other one better. Great. So now we are strolling around the Palolam street again. And uh, then we will go for lunch once we are a little tired. So we thought we will get this Goan style harem pants for Appu, our nephew and uh, we'll see something similar for Sham also. Yeah. So if Sham is taking, how can I go without taking something? <laughs> Puneet ji ka photo. Oh, fan hai? Oh, okay. Puneet ji ka fan. <laughs> Hesro hai nama? Lakshmi. Tumba is there. I have already got a photo of Yeah, actually, we also feel the same. When we hear about Puneet Rajkumar, definitely we feel very upset, emotional. Uh, yeah, nothing much to say. Great honor to him. How is this? Liked it? To my YouTube family, you am asking. 
ನೈಸ್ ನೋ ಇದು ಎಷ್ಟು ಇದು ಫೋರ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಅದು ಕನ್ನಡ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಗೊತ್ತು ನನಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ನನ್ನ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಕಾಣಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಅದು ಗೊತ್ತು ಸೂಪರ್ ನಿನ್ನೆ ಮೊನ್ನೆವರೆಗೂ ಇರದ ಕನಸು ಈಗ ಮೂಡದೆ ಹೇಳದೇನೆ ಕೇಳದೇನೆ ನನಗೇನು ಆಗಿದೆ ಹೇಳದೇನೆ ಕೇಳದೇನೆ ನನಗೇನು ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ನನ್ನ ಮನಸ್ಸು ಕಾಣಿಯಾಗಿದೆ ಸ್ಮಾಲೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ವುಮನ್ ವಿ ಹಾವ್ ಸೀನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಆಪ್ಕಾ ಕೌನ್ ಸಾ ಅಚ್ಚಾ ಲಗಾ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಕೌನ್ ಏ ವಾಲಾ ಏ ವಾಲಾ ಕಿತ್ನಾ ಹೈ ಪಾ 150 150 ಸೋ ನೌ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಂಚ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಟಯರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಸುಮಯಾ ಆಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಗೋನ್ ಕ್ಯುಸಿನ್ ರೆಸ್ಟೋರೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಹೈ ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಗೋನ್ ಬ್ರೂ ಲ್ಯಾಗ So this is something we usually order when we are here in Goa. Yes, cheers. So this is Goan special chicken sukka. This will have lot of coconut. Mm. Super. Now we order chicken biryani because from few days we are not having rice. So we thought okay. why not biryani this time actually thali is very famous here but then we are not that hungry to have one one thali each this time it's again shams turn and he liked it so dears after food we are actually driving back to our cottage so before that we thought we should buy some drink i mean some bottles for our family and friends so we just halted here it is prem datta traders so we'll go and see what we can buy and take for our friends so we got fenny and um, port wine and we check with the shop how can we cross the border with the liquor so he explained everything really well he was such a good person so he said like uh, better either we hide it uh, maybe we can put it into some water bottle and carry it because anyways they are going to catch us if we carry liquor from here whatever it is even if it is fenny or um, any beer yeah so but uh, port wine yeah we can carry because it is not considered under the liquor category so anyways we got that we like port wine a lot and uh, for fenny what we can do is uh, we can tell them we can tell them that uh, we are carrying two bottles that can be shown to them and we can also open it and keep uh, so that uh, we declare that we are not going to sell it anywhere in karnataka we ourselves are only going to use so that way we can do the other bottles maybe we will have to keep it under the luggage or something so we'll try that we'll let you know how it worked whether they really checked or we were able to carry it or maybe we were caught or it was seized everything we will definitely let you know So dears this is what happened while crossing the border there was thorough checking it was very strict they, they were actually checking each and every car especially with Karnataka registration so they went in they asked us to open the dicky they opened the bag everything even the seats were folded and checked thoroughly and we told them that we are carrying two bottles of liquor i mean the fenny and uh, one port wine they were like okay but they said that uh, we are not supposed to carry any liquor uh crossing the border but then we told them that we have opened the bottle so uh, we are not planning to sale and all and it is only two bottle so they were like okay fine with us but uh, this is the first and last time we are actually taking for our friends we are road but uh, through airways it is possible to carry certain amount of li- liquor so uh, maybe next time mostly we will be coming by uh, flight so that time we will carry but otherwise by road we are not planning to carry So that's the information. Let's continue with the vlog. So tomorrow is when we will be starting from here. 
Now we are heading back to our cottage because we have taken a sea view cottage. Definitely, we'll have to spend some time there as well. Let's go to the cottage, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the sea. Yes, we had a great time today in the Agonda Beach. We took a proper bath also in the sea. No doubt, Agonda Beach is my all-time favorite beach when in South Goa. After that, we went for dinner. We went to this place called Greenland Restaurant. I can say the best of the dinner we had in Goa was that out of this vacation. So we had a masala pomfret fry pasta and port wine all together it was amazing the smoky flavor of the tawa grilled fish was too good it was delicious so if you are in south goa please do try it out you will love it for sure definitely it is not a sea facing uh, restaurant and all but then the taste was amazing so we will go back to the resort we'll spend some time looking at the beach view from our cottage and then we will go back to sleep and tomorrow we have to leave from here, from South Goa and travel back to Bangalore. So the next day morning, we are all set to travel back to Bangalore. It was such a pleasant and peaceful vacation. At the same time, it was happening too. Definitely, we are living with a heavy heart. We are like that every time we leave from Goa especially. This time, we didn't do much itinerary. So if you want to know the itinerary, you can go back to Goa playlist. You can definitely understand how to spend time in North Goa, South Goa, everything. I've done a lot of videos. So please do check it out. It's time to wind off from this beautiful vlog from Goa. See you soon with another exciting vlog from a different place. Bye bye. Love you all. Please stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please like, please share my videos. Bye bye.